everyone welcome back to my channel if you guys are new here welcome my name's Tina today I'm doing a gorgeous red smoky eye for the holidays with a beautiful wing and a gorgeous highlight if you guys are interested in seeing how I created this look please keep watching and if you guys are not already subscribed to my wonderful channel, please do so down below. And make sure you guys hit that notification button so you don't miss a post from me. And without further ado, let's get into it. So today I'm going to use the Morphe James Charles Artistry Palette. And I am going for a smoky red eye something really beautiful for Christmas. Hopefully what I have envisioned in my head is going to come through on my eyes. I've already primed my lids, but I'm going to go in with the NYX Milky Base, or is it Milk Base? Since I'm using the James Charles palette, I need to use a eyeshadow primer. So I'm gonna go in with my P. Louise Base in the color Zero. And I'm just using a little tiny Morphe sponge like this. My mirror is down below as usual. And I'm just really putting this base down because I want the red pigment to pop as much as I can get it to. If your skin is really light, then it'll be easier for you to have that red pop. But since mine is not, it won't. So I'm really going for a nice white base. And I'm not bringing it all the way up here because I don't need it up there. The red shadow is basically going to be contained to my lid and a little bit above just because you guys know I have, and for those of you that are new here, I have a hooded lid. So when I open my eye, I lose all of my lid space. So I have to create a fake crease. And I'm not too worried about the mess on the sides because I'm just going to wipe it away when I'm done with my look anyway. I haven't done any of my foundation or any of that. Oh, I look so good. I should go out now. I'm just kidding. I'm going to start off with the color Punch Me mixed with Code James and just put that in my crease. Punch Me, Punch Me is this like pretty brown color. And then Code James is sort of a orange terracotta type color. And they're actually really pretty put together. So I'm going to just pat that like that on my crease. Because don't forget these are pigments and... You really need to pack them on your lid before you do any blending. Probably should be using a more dense brush, but... I'm going to zoom you guys in a little bit closer so you can see more of what I'm doing. That's really close. Now I'm going to go in with a color right next to Code James called 10% Off. And it's a really pretty rust sort of color. And I'm going to put that right in the same area in my crease and bring it up. And I'm using a Morphe M441 brush. Looks like that. I'm really, really excited to do a red smoky eye. I've had my eye on this color ever since I got this palette absolutely beautiful true true red you can't really find a real true red in a palette these days so I'm really excited that James came out with a real good red now I'm gonna use this NYX pencil and put that on my lid and then kind of blend it out just because I want this red to really pop. And then I'm gonna go into the red color in the palette, which is called You're Kidding. I'm going to take a Morphe M152 brush, which is this tiny brush right here, and pack that red all over my lid. You're kidding. <laughs> Look at that red. Absolutely gorgeous. Beautiful, beautiful, true red. And I'm just putting that all over my lid. Then I'm just going to take a Beauty Junkie blending brush and really buff that through. Looks like this. I'm going to dip a little bit into your kidding and buff that all out. As I'm blending it, I can see that the red is starting to fade away. 
So I think I'm going to have to take my time with this and really keep adding and adding and adding the color. It's a really pretty color. But I wish it would actually stay true. Like if you look up close, you can see right here on my lid, that is the only part of the shade that I put on my lid that is true to what I laid down. So that's a little bit disappointing to me, but hopefully I can make it work. I feel like once I'm done blending this out, I'm gonna have to go back in and pack that color all over my lid again because once you blend it out, it kind of disappears. It still looks red, so that's good. It hasn't changed to pink or anything like that, but I can see it's also a little bit patchy, but that could also be because I put that Milk NYX stick down. It's definitely getting smoked out here. So what kind of looks are you guys doing for the holiday season? I have quite a few looks on my mind that I'd like to do. I think green is probably going to be my next look. I actually just did a silver gray type wet look smoky eye and I posted that on Instagram. If you guys are interested in me doing a video on that look, let me know down in the comments below and I would be more than happy to film that look for you guys. It's actually looking really, really good. Like you can see, it looks really good. I'm really, really happy with the way, with the way it's looking. So now that that's done, I'm gonna go in with a Beauty Junkie crease brush and just go into Punch Me from the James Charles palette and really buff out that crease so there's no harsh line there. I want it to be super smoked out, but I don't want it to look silly. If you look at it next to the other one, harsh line, really harsh lines there. And then that's really smoothly blended. So the key to using this pigment, this red pigment, is really just packing it on your lid as much as you can and bring it up as far as you want. And then going back in and getting rid of the harsh lines. But at first I thought I was going to be upset about it, but now I'm quite happy with it. It's an extremely red, red, and I think it's beautiful. I think it is a little bit muted on my skin just because I have so much melanin in my skin tone that it makes it not as red as it would be on lighter skin. But I'm not upset with it. I think it's absolutely beautiful and it's doing exactly what I wanted. Okay, so this is how they are looking now. Which I am absolutely loving them. So I put a little base down for my brow just so it wouldn't look as crazy, really. And for my liner, I'm going to use the NYX Epic Ink Liner in the color black. Now that I have both eyes lined, I'm going to basically just do the rest of my makeup and then I'll get to my lower lash line. For my foundation today, I am going to mix my new concoction I do for the winter time. I use the NYX Can't Stop Won't Stop in the color Deep Sable. And I mix that with my YSL Tushy Claw All-in-One Glow Foundation. Two pumps of this. Uh-oh, that didn't come out very well. Two pumps of, I'm gonna put a little extra. Two pumps of that, and then I'm gonna put one pump of this. And mix them up. Normally I would do my eyes, but since I didn't do my foundation, I mean my lower lash line, but since I didn't do my foundation, I didn't want to ruin the under eye. So I always tend to go in underneath there. So I'm going to just dot this all over my face. I'm a foundation before eyes kind of gal. And I'm going to take my Juno & Co. Micro Velvet sponge and just blend that out. I'm really loving this concoction for the winter time. 
just because of the I need the coverage of the NYX Can't Stop Won't Stop, but I like the glowiness of the Tushy Cloth. See how glowy and beautiful that looks? And now I'm going to use my concealer, and for my concealer I'm going to use my Maybelline Instant Age Rewind in the color Caramel Caramel or Caramel Caramel Caramel. Some people say caramel. I say caramel, right? Caramel? Caramel. Caramel? Caramel. I don't know. Whatever you say. Tomato, tomato. So, am I the only one in YouTube land that does not color correct? And I also don't bring my foundation on my ears and my neck. I don't... Does it look bad? Can you tell that I don't do that? I feel like if you're matching yourself correctly, you don't need to bring it all the way down your neck. I'm using a really light color because I want to be really highlighted, so I kind of have to be careful with it. I kind of go a little crazy with the concealer. I'm going to try not to. Go crazy, that is. Even though I look crazy. This thing is so disgusting. Maybelline, can you please give me an applicator that is not a nasty sponge at the end? I need a wand or something that I can stick in. This is phenomenal concealer but I need it to be without that nasty sponge. It's not hygienic, it's not, it's not. So I'm gonna use my little Real Techniques sponge here. Here I go. Speed away. This is such a good sponge to be precise with. Look how great that application is right there. This concealer is truly the best. If you guys haven't tried this concealer yet, please try it. It's extremely full coverage. I mean, the applicator is disgusting, but it's really full coverage and it lasts all day. It's just really, really good. Maybe I don't know. Maybe I don't know. Like, I've been literally using this for a really, really long time, like years. Well, I shouldn't say years because they only just expanded the line to match my skin tone. So as soon as they expanded the line, I tried it and I've been in love with it ever since. There is another concealer coming out, which I'm so excited about. It comes out in Ulta on the 23rd of December, which is this month. And it's called the Can't Stop, Won't Stop Full Coverage Concealer, I think it's called. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm extremely excited about it because you guys already know how I feel about my Can't Stop, Won't Stop foundation. So I'm just thinking that it's going to be on par with the foundation. I mean, it has to be. So let me know if you guys got the NYX Can't Stop, Won't Stop concealer and is it full coverage? Because my Can't Stop, Won't Stop foundation is my tried and true absolute favorite foundation. But I also have combination oily skin and I know not everybody has my same skin type. So... If you got it and tried it and you have similar skin tone to what I have, not skin tone, skin type to what I have, then let me know if it's good. Now I need to powder this down and to powder it down I'm going to use my Too Faced Ethereal Setting Powder in the color Medium Deep and to, use, to blend it out I'm going to use a Morphe 501 which looks like this. So going back to foundations, let me know what foundations you guys are using for the winter season. I feel like during the winter your face is a lot drier, so you don't have to use what you would typically use in the summertime. That's only my experience, so that's why I ask what you guys are using. I like a little bit of a glow in the winter. I didn't do my cream contour. I'm going to do that. I really should have done that before I powdered my face. But I forgot, so. Now I'm just gonna set my contour. And for that, I'm just gonna use this Morphe E4 brush. Then I'm gonna take my Morphe M527 brush and go into my Max Mineralized Skin Finish in the color Dark Tan. And I'm just gonna bring some of the color back to my face. For my blush today, I'm going to use my Bare Minerals Gen Nude Let's Go Nude blush. Again, I'm sorry guys, I always use this blush. I apologize. Give myself some color back. I didn't want to use too deep of a color just because I don't want to draw everybody away from my eyes. 
So I figured this is a really pretty nude cheek. Now I'm gonna go back into the eyes. I haven't done my lower lash line yet. I'm going to take my NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in the color Milk and I'm gonna line my lower lash line with it. Now that I've done that, I'm gonna go back into your kidding and try to really smoke that out on my lower lash line. And then I'm gonna go into that other color I use, which is called 10% Off. It's that beautiful like brick red color. And I'm gonna put that over top of it just to deepen this bottom lash line since I put all of that white underneath, it's kind of showing through. I kind of want to add black to my lower lash line. I'm gonna, I'm gonna add black to my lower lash line now. Sorry guys, I should have done that from the beginning. Now I'm going to go into 10% off again and smudge out my lower lash line. It looks so much better with the black liner. I'm going to go into 10% off and you're kidding and mix the two. Now I'm going to do my arch and I'm gonna use the color So Good. Oh, that's beautiful. I'm gonna take this cold liner and tight line my upper lid. And then I'm gonna go into my inner corner and use that same So Good color on my inner corner. And I'm just gonna use this detailed pencil brush by Lamora. And I'm gonna spray it with Fix Plus. Now I'm gonna take my Laura Mercier Translucent Glow Setting Powder and put that on the highlights of my cheeks. I'm gonna use this Morphe M501 brush to do that. That's so pretty. I didn't think it was gonna be that glowy. That is absolutely gorgeous. Look at that side, and now look at that side. So that's my face done. I need to do my lashes. I'm gonna go off camera and do my lashes. Otherwise, the look is complete. I think I'm going to use my Sephora Rouge Lip Pencil in the color Molasses. I'm gonna take the Anastasia Matte Lipstick in the color Honey, and I'm going to put that all over my lips. I'm gonna take a little bit of my Too Faced Glossy Lip Injection in the color Milkshake and put that over top. Now I'm going to take my L'Oreal Voluminous Lash Paradise Mascara and I'm going to coat my upper and lower lashes. This stuff is amazing. Be really careful when you're doing that because you don't want to get it onto your red eyeshadow. So that's that. And now I'm going to spray my face and I'm going to use my Scandinavia Makeup Finishing Spray in the bridal. Now I'm gonna go add my lashes and I'll be right back. I'm back with the finished look. I just went and popped on my More Lashes by Tiffany in the style Dream Chaser. They're absolutely beautiful and fluttery and flirty and extremely light on the eye. Other than that, this is it for today. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this tutorial and I gave you some inspiration for a holiday look. I'm absolutely loving this red eye. If you guys are not already subscribed to my channel, please do so down below and I will see you guys in the next one. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.